Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In today we're being Call of Duty Mega Box, set number 06819, Attack Turret. This is the first of four Legend sets for Spring 2014, and includes 100 pieces, and the retail price is $9.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Included with this set is an Attack Turret and two minifigures. The first minifigure is a generic allied soldier who's wearing a basic green combat uniform and a tan combat vest with two brown ammo pouches attached. The head sculpt is completely new with a World War II allied helmet and he does have some facial paint applications including a 5 o'clock shadow. And the second minifigure is an allied sergeant whose rank is indicated by the three white stripes printed onto his helmet. He's wearing a green combat vest with one brown ammo pouch and a basic uniform with the pants painted in green and the shirt painted in brown. Weapons and accessories include a brand new gray Thompson submachine gun. Along with another new gray weapon, the M1 Garin, which has a bayonet permanently attached to it. Also included is two combat vests, one in green and the other in tan three brown ammo pouches, a tan backpack, and a silver combat knife. Even though they haven't released any enemy combatants with the Call of Duty line so far, this is technically our first enemy piece of equipment, seeing that it's based off the German 88mm flat gun. It's primarily built with green, silver, and gray blocks. The gun emplacement is supported by four legs, which are raised up off the ground, and in the center, is a clear translucent piece for added support. Even though the cannon itself is a rather basic design, Megablock still managed to add in multiple features and a decent amount of detail too. Right below the barrel is three gas chambers which have silver tips and below that is two tubes. It can rotate 360 degrees around at not only the base but at the barrel as well and it can also pivot up and down to give you a wider firing range. It also comes with four large shells which are conveniently held together with a base. They can be individually detached and held by the minifigures. So for about ten dollars I'm very pleased with this first of hopefully many legend sets to come. The allied soldiers were done just right and the attention to detail on the anti-aircraft turret is phenomenal. It's great to finally have some authentic World War II construction sets out there, and Megablox couldn't have done it better. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.